further the Clinton Chronicles that, and then the cocaine and the CIA and all these. I mean, it's it's integrally related, and it really is this bad, and it really is with every president in recent times, especially. Um, it, it's just becoming more and more and more wicked, and and it's wickedness that starts really at the head. And if the head be sick, the body becomes sick. And if we have a president that is totally corrupted and sold out essentially to Satan, well, it's going to affect the country in a negative way. That he might be the president for whatever information he now holds or interaction mm -hmm. he holds with the Soviet Union and over the American people as a threat. We well, one other thing. The, one of the reasons I would say about them, this Iowa caucus thing that he mentioned, that I said I didn't disagree with, the vote system has been absolutely rigged for a long, long time, and I've provided documentation for that. Um, in in recent broadcast, HBO ran a big special on the black boat, uh, black box voting rigging that can easily take place at any place where they have electronic ballots uh, and how the software companies that handle that are corrupted and rigged and this has been going on for decades so I just don't believe that when it comes to a presidential race things are happening at that high level of government um, and that they're unaware of it as a government and as a people are being held hostage by this former CIA operative Barack Hussein Obama who has heavy, heavy Muslim beliefs, Marxist politics, and has an intense hatred for this nation called America. Now, at the trial on 14th of May, I will document all of these statements that are not general public knowledge that I have stated today when the trial is finally enjoined. But as stated previously, I must, because of growing threatening circumstances, present my case to the American people now. I'm James David Manning, senior pastor of the Outlaw World Missionary Church in Harlem, and also the host of the Manning Report. Okay, so that's the, uh, the trials from the 14th to the 19th. We're right in the middle of it right now. I'm going to give you a couple updates here of, uh, of what I've got. He's coming out with this information because he feels as though his life is under increasing peril as a result of this information. And by coming out with it, if he were to be assassinated, it would make what he's putting out there all the more credible. So sometimes the safest thing you can do is actually come out and put this information out for everybody to see. So... I give you the, um, there's a CIA, Columbia, Obama uh, trial flyer that he's got. I give you the PDF to that. Um, another video that you can watch where Obama openly admits he's a Muslim. It's been coming out more and more increasingly. Michelle Obama came out and said, you know, the, the thing about the, uh, that he's a citizen, uh, you know, of uh, Kenya or his, his home country. Uh, that came out recently. There's been a lot of things. It's almost like they're they're letting this out to just kind of throw it in your face. That, yeah, the whole thing about him being qualified to be president of this country is such a joke. And on so many different levels. But it's just suppressed in the media. But yet they'll let out little things, you know, to uh, to make sure that, uh, that, you know, they're communicating this on some level. The uh, this is from the conservative examiner regarding this trial. It's, they're calling it the trial of the century. Uh, with thousands of spectators expecting to attend Dr. James Manning's trial of the century on charges of treason, fraud, and sedition begin tomorrow, 9 a.m. New York City. It's already begun. Uh, Co-defendants in the trial are Columbia University and the CIA. In the last days of the run-up to the trial, Manning revealed that he has sources in government that will testify against Obama, Columbia, and the CIA. He also reported explosive information that Barack Obama has used upwards of 20 different social security numbers during his lifetime. Witnesses are expected to testify at the trial. Barack Obama was never a student at Columbia University, although he received a degree from the school. Dr. Manning claims that Columbia, therefore, is an accomplice to the fraud. Other witnesses are expected to testify that Obama fails the constitutional test 
for presidential eligibility due to the fact that his father was a British subject at one time of his birth, and his mother was not old enough to confer citizenship when he was born. A dramatic new revelation, however, may serve to reemphasize the importance of the trial. The state of Hawaii, according to sources, did not accept his birth registration that was filed despite issuing a statement of live birth. This could mean that although the state issued a certification certification of live birth, not a birth certificate, the process for filing for an official birth certificate in 1961 was never completed and thus was not accepted by state officials. Um, many questions have been raised regarding the legal status of the trial. Dr. Manning insists that this is no, quote, mock trial or a kangaroo court, but it carries the weight of the Constitution and the authority of the judges and attorneys who have agreed to conduct the proceedings. So he's actually got judges and attorneys that have agreed to conduct these proceedings. If sufficient evidence is presented for a guilty verdict to be rendered by the jury, then it is up to law enforcement as to whether or not further action is taken. However, if the evidence presented is overwhelming, accurate, and verifiable by reliable witnesses, then it would be incumbent upon law enforcement to initiate the next step, arrest, and further court action. It will be most interesting to observe whether or not the evidence, the official documents that have been previously concealed in the sworn testimony of witnesses will be enough to put to rest once and for all all the glaring questions regarding Obama's background, history, associations, and the murky goals for the nation. Again, I give you the link there. Uh, I give you a link to a study I did on Obama. I've done several on Obama. Uh, This is just a report from day one of the trial. Uh, Observers from all over the world from various states were in attendance, including persons from Germany, Canada, Hawaii, California, Texas, North Carolina, Virginia, and Florida. Today's activities were primarily preliminary. Um, There was a march around Columbia University, the questioning and selection of the jury, the opening remarks by Dr. Manning. The trial begins in earnest tomorrow. The synopsis of day one can be found at, and I'll give you the link there, and where they actually have photos and stuff too. Here's an excerpt of the report. The indictment was handed down via grand journey, and the subpoenas were refused by Columbia University and the Obama administration, according to the testimony of the indictment, which alleges, number one, so in other words, the Obama administration and Columbia University have already, uh, they were refused, okay, these indictment charges, which are, number one, Columbia University and Obama conspired to defraud and commit wire fraud and mail fraud. Number two, Columbia University knowingly concealed the fact that Obama is not a natural-born citizen. Number three, Columbia University aided in obstructing justice. Obama, number four, Obama frequently obtained the office of the POTUS, uh, gaining access to sensitive materials, posing a danger to national security. I would have assumed this was during his CIA days. And five, the prosecution dropped the charges of treason and espionage to avoid complications with a death sentence. Dr. Manning stated that the charges of treason and espionage were dropped due to the fact that if the jury found Obama guilty... They may recommend the death penalty. (laughs) Manning said he does not believe in capital punishment and therefore recommended to the prosecution that those charges be dropped. Well, again, you're going to have to you're going to have to have teeth to to implement that, and I think you're going to have a pretty tough time uh, doing that. But anyway, uh, this is what they're doing right now. It's going on right now as as we're talking here, and uh, interesting stuff. And uh, I don't do again. I, I haven't done a lot on exposing Obama because to me, it's kind of like a moot point. Yes, I think these things should come out. The problem is is it's all always suppressed in mainstream media, and the people don't seem to want to do anything about it anyway. There's just very few that will actually take any kind of stand on this. And um, my people like my listeners, and these, th- those are like the exception to the rule. So, may the Lord's will be done. Something that you can pray about. All these things. The things to pray about. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I know there's an overwhelming amount of evidence, and I, I, I've, again, I've chronicled this and documented it in so many previous teachings regarding Obama, but I did that primarily before he got into office, because I knew once he was into office, uh, it was going to be a lot harder to unseat him. God can do anything. The Lord Jesus Christ can unseat the man. And I have heard, uh, you know, like cutting edges of the opinion, I believe, that um, Obama will be discredited so that they can bring in their nut, their next, 
You know, he has a plan, they're going to use him for a certain time, and then they're going to discredit him, so that then they can bring in the next draconian person uh, to take his place. So we'll see.